We come to another session of calculus. This is part four. We discuss derivative using rules of differentiation. In the previous video, we have seen how to find the derivative using first principles, but it was very clear that it is tedious and long. Now we have to investigate few rules for the differentiation. The following rules of differentiation are applicable. Rule number one, if f of x equal to k x to the power n, k is a number, a constant number, a coefficient of x to the power n, Look at the exponent n, that is the most important thing. Then f dash x equal to k times n, the exponent n, x to the power n minus 1. We subtract 1 from that exponent. n x to the power n minus 1. For example, f of x equal to 5 x to the power 3 then f dash x will be 5 times 5 remains as it is. Exponent is 3. 3 x to the power 3 minus 1, that is 2. So we get 15 x squared. Rule number 2, if f of x equal to kx, just a coefficient k and x, then f dash x is equal to k. That is the answer for the derivative. For example, f of x equal to 6x, then f dash x equal to 6. Rule number 3, if f of x equal to k, just the constant number, then f dash x will be 0. Example, f of x equal to 8, then f dash x equal to 0. There are few notations we use in this topic. To represent the derivatives, f dash x, dy over dx, capital D base x, all representing the same thing, derivative or gradient or rate of change. Different books use different notations. Different question papers use different notations. Okay, so let us go to the questions. We practice a lot of questions here. Determine y equal to pi over 2 x to the power 6, then our answer should be dy over dx. See the notations? Now, let us see how do we use pi over 2 is just a constant number. So, our aim is to find the derivative of x to the power 6. What is that? It should be 6 x to the power 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. Simplifying, we get 3 pi x to the power 5. g dash x, we use the other notation. If gx equal to x to the power 3 over 3. So what is our exponent? Exponent is 3. What is our coefficient? Is 1 over 3. So we rewrite as 1 over 3 x to the power 3. So that we can use the rule very easily, we get the derivative of x to the power 3 is 3x square. And simplify, we get x square. p dash x, it is not necessary that always it should be f, can be f or g or p. So here px equal to 3 over x to the power 4 in the denominator. So it's not easy to find the derivative using the exponent. We take x to the power 4 from the denominator to numerator. Exponential law. We learned all these in the junior classes. So we get 3 x to the power minus 4. Now the exponent is minus 4. We apply the rule. We get minus 4 x to the power minus 4 minus 1. Whatever be the number, subtract 1. So we get minus 5. So the final answer is minus 12. 3 times 4 is 12. 
x to the power minus 5. Now look at this one. Find dy over dx if y equal to square root of x. What is the exponent? How do we write in the exponential form? We know that. Square root of x is x to the power half. Then we apply the rule. The answer is half x to the power half minus 1. Don't waste your time. Use your calculator. Half minus 1 is minus half. f of x equal to 4x minus 3 whole square. Look at that. 4x minus 3, a binomial inside the bracket. Squaring that. So we have to anyway expand this using the identity. a minus b whole square. You must know it from the junior classes. So we square the bracket carefully. A square minus 2ab plus b square. That gives us 16x square minus 24x. How do we get 24x? 4x times 3 is 12x times 2 gives us 24x. Plus square of 3 is 9. Now we get the derivatives of all the three terms. We have three terms here. Derivative of x square is 2x. Derivative of minus 24x is minus 24. Derivative of 9 is 0. And we finally simplify. We get 32x minus 24. f of x equal to 1 over. Tricky questions. Fourth root of x cubed. And we change it into the exponential form. Fourth root of x cube is x to the power 3 over 4. And we write the term is 1 over 2. x to the power minus 3 over 4. Moving into the numerator. Now we find the derivative. Whatever we the number, we must apply the rule carefully. Minus 3 over 4, x to the power, minus 3 over 4, minus 1. Simplify. Use your calculator and get minus 3 over 4, x to the power, minus 7 over 4. dy over dx, if y equal to 4x to the power 8 plus square root of x to the power 3, square root. So, we write it as x to the power 3 over 2 because it is inside the square root. And then we apply the rule. Derivative of x to the power 8 will be 8x to the power 7. 8 times 4 gives us 32. And second term, 3 over 2, x to the power. Now we must be fast. 3 over 2 minus 1 gives us x to the power half. Look at this tricky question. xy, not x, xy equal to x minus 1 over x square times x plus 1 over x square. Same term. Look at the sign. One is minus and the other one is plus. So a minus b times a plus b because we have to simplify this before we apply the rules. What is our identity? a minus b times a plus b is a square minus b square. We apply that. So xy is equal to square of the first term, x square minus square of the second term, 1 over x to the power 4. Be careful. Now we move x to the power 4 to the numerator. It is x to the power minus 4. But still it is x, y. We want y as the subject. How do we do that? You divide all the three terms by x. x, y over x gives us y. x square over x will give us x minus. What is x to the power minus 4 divided by x? When you divide, you subtract the exponent. Minus 4 minus 1 gives you minus 5. Now we can use the rule dy over dx equal to 
derivative of x x means 1x so derivative of x is 1 minus minus 5x to the power minus 6 we simplify we get 1 plus 5x to the power minus 6 determine dx the new notation and we have three terms in the numerator then there is 2x square in the denominator what is the algebra to simplify this we divide all the three terms in the numerator by 2x square so we have x square over 2x square minus x over 2x square minus 6 over 2x square carefully simplify we get 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2x in the denominator minus 2 into 6 is 3 3 over x square in the denominator now we move these x terms to the numerator we get x to the power minus 1 x to the power minus 2 find the derivative the final answer is just equal to there is nothing on the left side we write so derivative of half is 0 do the derivative of x to the power minus 1 carefully derivative of x to the power minus 2 and then you beautify your answer simplify and beautify it is half x to the power minus 2 plus 6 x to the power minus 3 good question now comes another fraction we have three terms 3x cubed minus 7x square minus 6x in the numerator but denominator is not a monomial it is a binomial so how to divide it's not easy so in such cases we must realize that there will be a possibility of factorizing the numerator so that we can cancel eliminate this denominator let us look at that how to factorize x is common in the numerator we take x outside inside the bracket we have 3x square minus 7x minus 6 again we factorize the numerator the, the quadratic expression we get 3x plus 2 times x minus 3 so we apply factorization very carefully here look at that now x minus 3 in the denominator will be cancelled with x minus 3 in the numerator okay denominator and numerator x minus 3 so we are left with x times 3x plus 2 which gives us 3x square plus 2x we apply the rule dy over dx equal to derivative of x square is 2x 3 times 2x gives us 6x and derivative of 2x is 2. So, we did few good questions using the rules. Hope you understood that. Share these videos to your friends so that all of them will learn this beautiful topic, calculus. Thank you. Thank you.